Hi, I'm Robert Joseph. Thank you for stopping by my channel. Um, so I wanted to give you an, a May update, which I did not do an April update, and there's a reason for that. Ever since the beginning of the year, I had been working on opening up my home to actually start giving sewing classes and pattern making classes. And so I had prepared my house and the rooms that I was going to be able to have students in. I got the website, I built the website, I built the flyers and I was just about ready to start sending out all the flyers to the schools and around my little community here. And then um, what happened the middle of March came, the end of March came and everything else was shut down. And I was actually planning on opening and starting the business at the beginning of April. So that was kind of a big bummer that I wasn't able to do that. So, um, you know, a lot of April was actually me just kind of deciding what I was going to do and how I was going to um, continue the business. And what I'm planning to do is actually to start the online school um, for sewing and pattern making and other uh, fashion uh, classes. So um, that's what I have a book here. It was going to be called Apparel Arts Academy. It will still be called Apparel Arts Academy. And this actually, this is a notebook of samples for a level one sewing course, um, which will also entail um, certain sewing certain types of garments. So look forward to that uh, coming out pretty soon. I've also kind of been keeping myself myself busy. I've been going back in to uh, my past a little bit and doing some quilting and I had these extra scraps that I had actually started uh, uh, quilting before and of course I don't have the backing on here yet but I sewed these up to keep myself busy um, also while I was working on some other um, new products for you guys. So these are probably going to be turned into pot holders um, and possibly some placemats. So um, kind of look for those maybe on another uh, site that I might be selling that on. Um, but I have a feeling that they're just going to end up being Christmas gifts. Um, so just to keep uh, myself on track, I had some notes here. So I just kind of want this to be kind of short and sweet. So. Um, I am working on some new styles for May. I've gotten a lot of requests for longer legs in the undergarments, some other um, skimpier types of swimwear. Um, so I'm kind of putting those together now. Uh, I'm also working on some women's patterns. Um, if you remember, I have a women's pattern line called Leslie Ann, which can be found right now um, on Etsy. I'm, I'm planning on uh, building that out as actual a gift shop. So there will be sewing patterns but there also be earrings and um, other things uh, that you might find in a gift shop boutique so um, I know sometimes it takes me a long time to get the men's patterns the new ones up for you guys um, but that's because I'm I'm kind of a one-man show that's how I explain it to one of my customers that I design I do all the samples I make sure everything fits right and I'm kind of a stickler for getting the fit right and the way people want to wear them so I do all of that and then I do the pattern drafting in the computer and then I throw it over to Illustrator where I actually format all of the pages so that they can print easily on your home printer. And then of course I do the step-by-step -step video tutorials and that is probably what actually takes the longest amount of time. Shooting the videos is actually quite quick, uh, but actually editing them and then exporting them and then uploading them takes a, a long time. So I have to kind of be in that right um, frame of mind to actually get all of that done and it actually per pattern it takes me quite a bit of time but I have quite a few patterns that are going to be coming out hopefully towards the end of May and the beginning of June so stay tuned for that. So um, also you may have noticed that my prices have changed and some things online have changed as well. So I sell in, in two places. I sell at Etsy and I sell at my standalone site, sewitlikeaman.com. Um, and what's happening is that now a lot of vendors are being charged for off-site ads coming into their, their shops and they're being charged for that, something that they hadn't planned in their budget or into the price of their product. And so I've had to raise my prices to offset that. Now, this business, although it does a pretty good gross amount of sales, 
it doesn't make enough to actually pay my rent. So when I lost my job last year, I moved out uh, to the south, kind of the south, the north-south um, east, and uh, I, basically for the lower rent and the lower cost of living, you know, I get a much larger space for the price. Um, and my family actually lives out here, so that's the reason that I moved out here. And I decided this is where I would actually try to expand my online business. And it's actually been doing very well. I've been growing, you know, slowly. Thanks to you, I really appreciate your business. Um, so. I just needed to um, kind of continue to work on that business, getting more patterns up online, but because of more of the advertising that's been happening um, and the cost that I'm incurring, I've had to raise my prices. So most of my patterns are now $8 a pattern, um, but I will start thinking about, I've had some customers ask me if I do bundles. So I may start doing bundles um, on both of my sites, but um, wherever you purchase, you know, uh, I try to keep the prices um, reasonable for you. Um, so that's the reason that I've had to kind of raise my prices. So um, I also want to mention that um, I mentioned, I think, believe and I believe in March that I was going to be updating some of the old videos. I know I've gotten some complaints that there's no music or there's no audio, and I understand that and I apologize for that. So this has kind of had a kind of weird growth um, to it. It's been really organic. So I'm I've just been kind of playing with what works and what doesn't work, and so I still am going to go back and redo some of the older videos. You know, the first pattern that I had was my square cut swim trunk, and that was the first video I ever did. So um, that will probably be the first one that I actually go back and update. And you'll also be happy to know that I'm actually going to probably update that pattern so that you can have a higher waist, a lower waist, or longer legs. So just kind of look out for those updates. And for those of you who are purchasing on Etsy, understand that I can't take your email uh, and send you emails about the updates. So, but if you go to my standalone site, sewitlikeaman.com, you can actually join my newsletter and uh, you will get uh, updates about when patterns changes or when patterns um, will become available in your email box. So I su strongly suggest that you go there and sign up for my newsletter. As well, if you're just seeing me the, for the first time here on YouTube, this is actually my Robert Joseph Sewing YouTube channel, which I use to host all my Sew It Like a Man dot com sewing pattern videos so you can subscribe here and of course you will be notified whenever I upload a new video um, okay that's that's kind of a lot I guess it's gonna be longer than I thought it was gonna be um, but I did want to mention one more thing that's kind of a little off topic something that I'm planning to do so I grew up with fresh produce so I'm um, being out here in the south I have a big backyard and I was planning on um, building some raised beds my sister has them my uncle has them so um, I wanted to start growing my own vegetables like my grandparents did but building the raised beds was a little bit uh, more project than I wanted so I started hunting around and I found out that you can grow vegetables in bags so I found these companies that actually have grow bags so that's where I'm gonna start I'm gonna start small and I've actually created patterns for grow bags so I have approximate these are approximate gallon sizes so I have a one gallon a three gallon and a five gallon bag um, and I'm gonna actually try growing vegetables in those and I'm gonna offer those patterns yeah I will probably put another update once those are ready um, those will be free patterns for you to make with all of the instructions on the proper type of material so um, that's just kind of like an off-topic thing that I'm planning to do aside um, from the, the patterns. So um, just one more time, I'd like to thank you for purchasing my patterns, for subscribing to my channel, um, and please keep an eye out uh, over the next few weeks because I'm going to be planning to upload, you know, let's call it three to six new patterns on both of, both of my sites. So again, if you haven't subscribed, please hit the subscribe button below. And thank you again uh, from the bottom of my heart for purchasing my patterns. Have a great afternoon and be well.